Hey, Hickok 45. As you see, we have a special situation with this video. As we begin, we need to take care of business. A little tick blood sucker tried to get John, so we need to start with that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Hickok 45, we had uh, special circumstances there. John found a tick crawling on him, trying to get to his blood just as we we're about to begin. And I got to tell on John, you know what John said? He said, oh, okay, we've got a tick. How are we going to get rid of this one? We're out here with a firearm and ammunition, and it didn't even occur to him, so he's slipping. So I said, what do you mean, how are we going to get rid of him? We've got a firearm. We've got, we've got a rifle here. So anyway, we thought you might enjoy that. And I'm sorry. Please don't sick Peter on us. Okay, we, we just like to keep our blood. All right. All right, so what we have here is our Model 92. Yeah, this one was made in, what, was 1916? And uh, you've seen it before, I hope, in the very first uh, adventures with it. It uh, was sent back to the uh, Winchester factory and reboard for a 357 Magnum, which makes it especially handy. So it has the original barrel and the markings and everything are on it to uh, show that, but it's just been rechambered for the 357 Magnum, which is handy. So today, this is uh, chapter two, mainly just going to shoot. I'm not gonna yak at you too much. Just thought uh, I would get it back out and have some fun. We're shooting some federal ammo, of course, because it was supplied. Oh, I just blew the target down. Oh man, I gotta talk to federal. They're uh, cranking those up a little too hot. Now we're shooting it because it's supplied, plus as we know, it's good ammo, right? Oh, all right, let's get a two liter. Uh-oh, you didn't see that. <laughs> oh, got to take a fine bead with this thing. I'll show you. I'm going to shoot the red plate over there. I have to hold underneath a little bit. Maybe a little too much. That's about right, about two, three inches underneath it. <laughs> All right, these are 158 grain hollow points. Let's put a hollow point on that vase there and smoke it. <laughs> Same for that pink two liter. Oh boy, open that baby up. Didn't it? Here's another. Let's see if we can hit right in the middle of that red plate. Almost. <laughs> oh, it's empty. That's no fun. Well, this thing is smooth. It, 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 I guess it's had some time to get smoothed out. Yeah. How many years is that? 80, 90, 100 years. You know, this thing is old. Not 100, but close to it. Close to it. Almost 100 years on that action. Just a short a few years. Wow. So let's load it up again here. Again. Oh, no, not hollow point. They're, uh, they're flat nose, soft point. I told you a story which is great for a lever gun. Appreciate Winchester sending in this, uh, this 357 and some 38 Special we will uh, shoot in it maybe here. 38 Special does okay. Doesn't cycle quite as, as well. It, uh, let me dump the rest of this in here. This is all the 357 Magnum. And uh, this uh, Winchester 38, good stuff. It, uh, you know, if you have a 357 Magnum lever gun, you just have to test it and see how it does. Some cycle specials a little better than others do. It's, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's an issue of the case length. Obviously, a lever gun or a semi-automatic is set up to function a certain length case, and 38 Special is a little shorter, but uh, this does okay with uh, most of what I put through it. Uh, I love a lever gun. Especially, uh, this thing's almost historical, that kind of age on it. What do we want to shoot? Let's try a little piggy over there. I think I went under it. There we go. Rolls it over, doesn't it? Well, we might as well try the chicken. Oh boy. 
tell you what. 357 got a little punch to it. No doubt about it. <laughs> it's pretty hard. Uh, one reason we're over here for the chapter two, instead of on the far hill, is again, uh, it's a pistol cartridge. You know, now we may do something over there with it too, but it's just kind of fun to to plink at everything out to 80 yards. You know, with a good old pistol caliber rifle. They're they're a lot of fun. Uh, well, let's just try a few 38 specials too here. These are uh, you know the right configuration. They're hollow points, and uh, they're not going to you know endanger us against that primer, right? So 38 special. They don't feed quite as smoothly, but uh, but we can make them work if you hold our mouth right. So there we go. Well, I hope you have a leather uh, leather. I hope you have a lever gun. If you don't have a lever gun, I hope you are thinking about one. You're making plans to have one in your arsenal. How's that for a politically incorrect term? Because everybody needs a lever gun of some kind. I saw that. All right, let's try <laughs> those. Now I have to baby these a little bit uh, sometimes, I think. All right. Or maybe I baby it too much. If I do it fast, maybe it'll cycle better. Let's see if the 38 specials will knock over a poor little defenseless pig. <laughs> oh, you don't want to fall. Maybe I didn't even hit him. There we go. Yeah, I see that one uh, wanted to come out. Uh, they do okay. You wouldn't want to go into battle with uh, 38 Special, I'll put it that way. Try that little groundhog. All right. That little chicken on the right. <laughs> Try that one. See if I can shoot him over that plate. That's uh, gonna be tricky. Quite messy. All right, pick him off. <laughs> uh oh, two liter time. Wow, holds a lot of 38 specials. The cowboy right in the star. Oh man, those are okay, and they're really comfortable to shoot, but they're just a little, uh, yeah, little finicky. Boy, that thing is smooth. Let's put the long ones back in here. Oh man, this is uh, this is double E uh, special because it's uh, not only a lever gun, model 92, but it's an old one, and uh, that's pretty cool. And it shoots a popular cartridge, one that we all can find generally our local gun shop 357 magnum if there was ever a more versatile well versatile i guess uh, i'm trying to think of another adjective for it but uh a more versatile cartridge all around i don't know what it would be really yeah 357 magnum is just hard to beat and since we haven't done it yet you know what it's time to shoot that big ugly gong out there needs a couple of rounds, maybe four or five, to wake him up. In case he doesn't know we're here. Oh, let's do a little buffalo hunting. Oh, I know what. There's a little bitty pig over there that needs to be shot. Except I went over it. There we go. <laughs> and there's a cinder block there. Yeah, needs to be hit. 
time or two. I saw dust, so <laughs> that did that. We'll put a couple more in, and I, I know you're in a hurry. I'm really not. I might shoot all afternoon and uh, until this barrel is so hot that I uh, can't touch it. Okay, put a couple more in. Boy, I know I'm always bragging on lever guns. I guess part of it is my fear that you might not have one and you might not have plans to, to be acquiring one. And that's really a sad state of affairs. Uh, you know, it's sad enough if you don't have one. Sorry about that. But it's really sad if you don't have plans to be uh, buying one somehow. You know, trading your car, uh, you know, your wife's jewelry or something you know, to get one. Because they are just special. And uh, and this one's really neat because, you know, Winchester 1892, kind of the real deal. And by the way, as John pointed out earlier, this this is the only gun that was ever used in the West. You knew that, didn't you? All you have to do is watch the Westerns and that will, <laughs> that will teach you that fact that this was the one because almost, I don't know, what would you guess, uh, you Westerns fans who are like me, if you watched uh, a variety of Westerns for about a week, if you watched about a uh, hundred different Western movies and all the lever guns you see in those movies, probably about 90% of them would be 1892 Winchesters, regardless of the setting and the year, you know, whether it's 18... 75 or 1895 this, this was the gun this is the one john wayne was usually carrying no matter what year it was okay we got a couple more targets of opportunity let's smoke a little more pot a paint can or two yeah and a two liter right to my face <laughs> that I sometimes forget. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, a buffalo. There's a buffalo over there. Oh, there's one by the tank, too. Let's get him. Right on the hump. There's another buffalo. Wow. Right on the hump. And let's try the cinder block again. Sweet. Love it. And Mr. Cowboy, you need another shot right in the hat. <laughs> well, I guess I've had enough fun, uh, at least for now. So uh, Winchester 1892, uh, be sure you check out the, the first uh, adventures with it and uh, where I talk more about the history of it. Uh, one nice thing about chapter twos is we just get them out, shoot them some more and uh, blab a little bit, but mainly we are shooting. And, uh, you know, if you don't like one of these and enjoy one of these kinds of firearms, uh, I don't know, there's something really wrong with you. And I think just about anybody watching uh, would enjoy a lever gun. There are lots of replicas made of these 1892s as well. I was just lucky enough to kind of stumble upon this one in a gun shop and didn't pay any more really than you'd pay for a really nice uh, replica of one. And uh, you know, they're, they're out there. Uh, fortunately, a lot of the folks in Italy and in the United States and some in Japan, you know, there are people making these things for various companies and uh, they can be in your gun safe and you can have fun with them. So uh, I would highly advise you consider these at some point. They're just a blast, uh, you know, very low recoil. And in 357, if you can find one, they seem to be almost harder to find. But you have such versatility. Uh, if you hand load or if you don't, there's a wide range of ammo available in 357 Magnum. And, uh, you know, they will feed generally 38 specials. And uh, so just, just a pleasure to shoot. It, it makes shooting even more fun than it normally is. And that's what uh, most shooting is all about, right? It's fun. Uh, it's a great endeavor, great hobby. So I've yacked enough. I don't need to tell you. Life is good.